Hi kindergartners, this is Miss Moses here for our Monday math lesson. And today we are going to think about sorting. And so by the end of our lesson today, students will be able to sort by shape, size, and color. So we're going to learn how to sort by shape, size, and color. So what does that mean? That means that we can sort objects or pictures by shape. When we sort by shape, it might look like this. We can have circles and triangles. We can also sort by size. Size would be big and small. Or we can sort by color. We sort by color when we have yellow and green. So over here for shape, these are circles and these are triangles sorted by shape. Over here we have big objects and small objects. We sorted by size. Over here we have yellow and green. We sorted by color. So I will show you first how to look at some pictures of objects and how to sort them. And then we'll do some together and then you'll have a chance to sort by yourself. So I'm looking at these pictures and I'm thinking, how could I sort them into two groups? What is the same about some of them that's different than some of them? Hmm, how could I sort these objects? Well, I'm noticing that some of them are pink and some of them are blue. I think I'm going to put all of the blue objects in a group and all of the pink objects in a group. Watch me sort them. So that one will go there because it's pink. That one goes there, it's blue. That one's blue, goes there. This one's pink, goes here. Blue. Pink. Okay, so I sorted my objects. Now I want to label my groups. What would I call this group over here? These are all pink. So I will write pink. Over here, these are all blue. So I will write blue. Did I sort by size, shape, or color? I sorted by color because I sorted the pink shapes from the blue shapes. I can sort by color. So now I'm going to look at the same pictures. I'm going to think what's a different way I could sort them. Hmm. So I just sorted them by color, pink and blue. Is there something else about them that are similar and then are different from a different group? Hmm. So remember, we can sort by size, shape, or color. So I did the color. Can I sort by shape? No, because they're all rectangles. Can I sort by size? Are some of them big and some of them small? Yeah, some of them are big and some of them are small. I can sort by size. This one is big. This one is big. This one is small. This one is small. This one is big. This one is small. So I sorted the same pictures a different way. Last time I sorted by color. This time I'm sorting by size. So if I wanted to label, these shapes are all big. So I would write the word big. They're all big rectangles. And over here, these are all small rectangles. I sorted by size, big and small. Now we're going to look at them together and we're going to think about how we can sort them. Can we sort by size, big and small? Can we sort by different colors like yellow and green? Or can we sort by shape like triangles and circles? Let's look. Hmm, okay, kindergartners, take a look. What do you see? Hmm, 
I see a lot of green shapes. So can we sort by color? If they're all green, can we put them into two groups by color? No, we would have to have two different colors and they're all green, so we can't sort by color. Hmm, can we sort by size? Are some of them big and some of them small? Yeah, you're right, some of them are big and some of them are small. I see some really small triangles and I see some really big triangles and I see some really big squares and some really little squares. Let's sort them by size, big and small. This one goes over here cause it's big. This one is small. This one is big. This one is small. This one is big. This one is small. So I sorted them. Now how should we label our groups? Over here, this triangle, this triangle, and this square are all what? Yeah, they're really big. So I will write the word big. And then what about these? This triangle, the squares, they are all little or small. So I can write the word small. Or I could write the word little. So then we could say that we sorted them by big shapes and small shapes. We sorted by size. Okay, so we now have the same group of objects and we need to sort them a different way. So we just sorted them by size. We said we couldn't sort them by color because they're all green. So what's the other way we could sort them? Yeah, we can sort them by shape. So what are the two shapes that you see on the screen? Hmm, do you see circles, squares, triangles, rectangles, hexagons? What are the two shapes you see? Yeah, I see them too, uh, triangles and squares. So let's sort by triangles and squares. I'll move them. Triangle, square, square, triangle, triangle, square. Okay, kindergartners, so what word do I write over here? All of these are good triangles. And then these are what? These aren't triangles. We sorted them into two groups, triangles and squares. Very good, so I'll write the word squares. Sorted by shape, triangles and squares. We're going to do another we do. We're gonna do another sort together. All right, let's look at these ones. How should we sort these objects? What are you noticing that's the same about some and different about others? Are there two different colors we could sort by? Are there two different sizes we could sort by? Are there two different shapes we could sort by? Hmm, yeah, I see two different colors too. Let's sort by the two different colors. What two colors do you see? Red and purple, very good. Let's sort by the different colors. Red, red, purple, purple, red, purple. So how did we sort them? Yeah, by color. So what color are all of these circles? Good, they're red. And what about these circles? They all are purple. Very good. So we sorted by color. Red. Okay, so now it's going to be your turn. I'm going to show you on the screen. And because you can't move them, I just want you to think, how would you sort them? There are two different ways you could sort them. I'm going to give you some time to think. I want you to think how you would sort them. Would you sort them by size, shape, or color? So we said that today students would be able to sort by shape, size, and color. We did that kindergartners. 
So I wanted to show you that in the you do, you could have sorted them by color. You could have put the purple shapes, purple shapes here, and the yellow shapes here. Or you could have sorted by shape. You could have put the squares here and the triangles here. I'm going to put on Class Dojo some more sorts that you can do. You can either print them out or you can just look at them on the computer and think about how you would sort them. All right. Thank you so much for doing math with me today. Okay, bye for now.